Okay, so I have a 1960s singer. Yes, I said singer. Typewriter. So it sure looks an awful lot like, like a Royal is what you're thinking. Well, it is. It is made by Royal, but branded for Singer. Say Singer. You know, the uh, sewing machine company. My grandmother and mother were sewers. So um, I'm very familiar with the Singer company. So this is a Singer Professional T62, which is really just a Royal probably, you know, like a saber or something like that. So let's take a look at it and um, do our typing demo. So right here are your margins. So, well, carriage release on the, behind the roller handles on each side. So you use that and you can hear a nice loud bell. So the margin, you're gonna wanna put it wherever you want, hit margin. It's got the new margin set to clear it, I suspect. You uh, do the carriage release, hold the margin down at the same time, kind of clears that, and then when you let go, it resets it. Yep. So I'm going to bring it in because I like narrow margins for my demo video. So I'm going to put it there. And you could hear it click in. Same with the right side. Bring it in. Let's say I want it here. Margin, I could hear it click in. If I want to change that, I just release the carriage, hold the margin tab at the same time. It clears it and I just release it to where I want it. Okay, so now your carriage will move as far as you have the margins set. This is uh, your line adjuster. So if you want one, if you want it to advance one, one and a half or two lines, do so. This, I suspect, yep, is your roller release. So if you need to do fine adjusting, Pop that forward, just make sure you re-engage before you start typing again. I'm gonna move this over to the left, pop open the top, and inside you'll see the ribbon. And we've installed a new universal ribbon, black on top, red on bottom. Please refer to the images at the link below so you can see how to thread it when it is time to change out your ribbon. Make sure you thread it through these double bars and those happen to also be your ribbon reversal because when you get to the end of the ribbon, which is pretty short, it does not mean you need to change your ribbon. It means you need to reverse the direction of that ribbon spool because there is lots and lots of ink in this ribbon. It will last you a very long time. You will reverse this dozens and dozens and dozens of times before you need to replace it. But when it is time to replace it, just go to our website at jotandtittletypewriter.com and you will find some ribbon there for you. Let's pop this back on, move this to the center. Let's do a typing demonstration. And I'm gonna put it right here and here. And you may be asking why are you not changing viewpoints? Well, because y'all, every little change I do, and I love doing these videos for you, takes up extra time and I am now running out of time to the point where I'm having to cut back the number of typewriters I do a week and we only do eight a week and it takes me 40 hours already to do all of that and I'm out of time. So I'm trying to find ways to save time, including talking faster. Okay, 1960s singer, professional. T-62, oh, that's nice looking. And it says the 1060s, I didn't do nine, oops. 1960s, there we go. And it's really a royal typewriter. This type's really nice, yeah, nice, I would say, yeah. Okay, color selector right here. Oh, also, I forgot to show you, column clear, column set, that's your tab. That's just another word for tab, and this button here says column, that's just your tab set, and that's how you do that there. LMH, that's a touch selector, just determines how hard those strike bars strike your paper. So let's put it on B for black, and check out all of the keys, and see how they're doing, and oh, this looks so good. I didn't do the, uh, let's go up here. 
didn't do the uh, uppercase on this one. Wow. So while I would probably um, recommend this for beginners because it is so, oops, that S. Easy fix. I'll get that fixed for you. It's just a little, it's having a little fit today, but we all have fits, don't we? So the best way to take care of typewriter keys that have fits is with a Q-tip and mineral spirits. Just look at our typewriter tips video on sticky keys and it tells you how to take care of that. It's a 30 second fix. Awesome. I don't even remember what I was saying. The quick round box. Oh, that this would be good for beginners. It would. But I'm telling you, if you don't have a big budget, but you want a typewriter that you can actually do a lot of writing on, this is going to be a good one for you. This isn't going to be a big budget typewriter, and it's typing amazingly well. The Quick Brown Fox does jump over the lazy dog. Oops, margin release. Get my period in there. Let's do this with the cat. There's that S. And for those of you who didn't know, sticky keys are very common for typewriters. There's nothing wrong with it. It's if it's occasional, if it's like all the time, then you just need it, it and it just needs cleaning, is all it is. And um, okay, stop, slow down. Shh. Okay. The cause of sticky keys is all the stuff in the air, the dust and the grime and all of that falling into, you could see the little slits and it gets in there and it makes it sticky and grindy and um, and you just have to clean it out on a regular basis. And the fact that these are vintage, this thing is a 1960, so this is probably 60 years old. We all need a little help, you know, when you get 60, I'm 50. I don't feel 50, but you know, I need a little help um, getting everything to work right. So. It really is. It's just we've cleaned it out, but as you use it, it's going to keep pulling up that gunk from over the years. And so that Q-tip with the mineral spirits is going to help clean that out. And a sticky key is all the same. It's, I've got some gunk coming out. Can you clean me out? That's what that is for. So when you're not using your typewriter, please put a typewriter cover over it, which we have available on our website at jotandtittletypewriters.com or put it back in the case. Okie dokie. All right, let's keep going. Let's do the red. Was the night before Christmas and all through margin release. Okay, so I'm used to typewriters giving you like five characters after the bell rings, but this one, when the bell dings, you are done, baby. All through the house. I spelled that wrong. I spelled that one wrong too. Can you believe it's almost Christmas? I hope 2021 is better, but actually for our family, 2020 has been a great year. So I know it hasn't been that way for a lot of people and my heart's go out to you for sure. Um, but you can be blessed when it's good and when it's bad. Anyway, Thanksgiving's next week. Christmas is just around the corner. Hallelujah. I think we all need some refreshing and time to celebrate what we are thankful for. In time away from the news and the garbage online, so you need to get yourself a typewriter. See? Anyway. Check this out uh, using the links below and what other typewriters we have available currently on our website by following the link to our website, jotandtittletypewriters.com. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you all have a blessed day and happy Thanksgiving. Bye.